How's it going everyone? It's Nathan from Nathan's MRE and today we have a very special ration. This particular one is a 24 hour French RCIR and this one is menu number 7. Okay, so I'm going to give a special thanks to start off with ForeignMRE.com for sending us this ration. It's very much appreciated. There will be a link in the description. Check out their channel. Without any further ado, we're going to cut this plastic off because it's hard for you guys to see with it on there. Ripper off there just like a wild animal. Okay, so we have Asian chicken and shrimp is this menu. Uh, Mexican salad to eat cold. Mackerel pate. Mackerel's S pate. Soup, milk and dessert, salted sweet biscuits. Coffee tea, chocolate, nougat, fruit, jelly, energy bar, muesli, isotonic powder drink, chocolate bar, jam, tissues, reheating kit, water purification tablets. And this particular one has a manufacture date of June 15, 2016. It has an expiration date of November 16, 2019. Okay, so let's go ahead and get her open. Um... Let's see what manner we could do that in here. There we go. That was pretty painless. Throughout the bat, we have some measly extreme sport nutrition. And this particular one is chocolate. Little chunks of chocolate in it. Sounds good. Here we have a uh, soup. Yeah, I don't know. Might have to do a little translation on that. Maybe some kind of Asian soup. Let's go ahead and do that now. And the best we could tell, this is a chicken vegetable soup. It does say Asian soup on it. So I don't know. It should be interesting. Uh, moving on here, we have some plum jam. Looks pretty good. We have a energy drink, looks to be an orange energy drink. Things all reflecting off of it. Have accessory pack, we'll do that here in a second. Have a small chocolate bar. We have, looks like apricot. Uh, these are like a jelly bar kind of deal. We'll inspect that carefully. The old nougat bar. Nougat bars have been really good in these. If you get an expired ration, an older one, to get where really they taste like paint, this one feels very soft and very nice. We have the biscuits or crackers, you might say. And these have three different types. I have a cereal, salted, and a chocolate. You know how I know that, because I had it before. And it says in the bottom. All right, moving on. We got some napkins or as... YouTube demonetization might say TP for your bunghole. Let's hope that doesn't turn into that. Uh, we have the Rillets. And this is going to be some sor for some form sorm of pate. This is going to be our mackerel pate the way it looks. As a fish on the side of it. We have a milky dessert. And this is a vanilla Madagascar vanilla. Possibly. A well, little further inspection of that here in a little bit. And we have another little bar. This one is a fruit pate bar. It looks to have blueberries, strawberries in it. And it's very soft and squishy. Probably a jelly bar. We have a little coffee energy bar. We have our Esbit stove, and somewhere under Esbit stove, there's gonna be a little tiny folding spork. We'll get this guy out too. That's to hold the mains when they're hot. There's our little tiny baby spork, and we have a pack of matches, of course. We have water purification tabs. We have a trash bag. Our little Esbit stove itself folds up. And then we have a six pack of fuel tabs. 
These are not of the fish variety. Usually they smell like fish, so they're from Russia. And that's that. Moving on here, we have a main. This one is, well, obviously this is a Mexican salad. So this has to be the Asian uh, shrimp and Asian chicken and shrimp. That should be interesting. However, if we know anything from doing RCIRs before, RCIR meals are always the best. So we'll have some good solid faith in this one and assume they're going to pull this one off also. I'm gonna get these two heated up. Before we do that, let's go ahead and pop the tops on them. And let's take a look. Take a little look-see inside there and see what's happening. Oh, buddy, look at that. Look at the shrimp. Whole shrimp. Got a lot of vegetables in it. Got some carrots, some peppers, some noodles in there. Maybe some mushroom or possibly eggplant. It doesn't smell bad. It smells pretty good. Very well seasoned. We're going to... Yeah, we'll put on our just like that. And our Mexican salad. This was to eat cold. I don't know. A lot of guys eat this stuff cold. The last few that we had, I heated up and it was actually very good. Uh, not this particular menu though. It doesn't smell bad. We'll see if it's uh, better cold or heated. Maybe we'll just try both. Okay, so <clears throat> here's where we're at. We're going to crank open this accessory pack. The main is on the warmer, on the hot plate. It is a ambient or cold on this Mexican salad. So we'll go for it. There's meat in it. I don't know. We'll see. If it's just nasty cold, then we'll heat it up. That being said, let's get this accessory pack open. See if we can't cut something open in the meantime. Try not to. And... I'll have to make a little hurry out of this because uh, there's a lot of food in this one. Let's pick these up. We have a, what is this, sugar? Yeah, a pack of sugar. There's one on the floor under the table. We have salt and pepper. We have tea, two different, the standard issue tea, uh, the mint. And I don't remember what the other one was there. You guys are probably tell me two packs of coffee and a pack of hot chocolate. Let's go ahead and put that up there. Or coffee, we'll do that here in a second. A little mint tea. Keep salt and pepper, even though we know we're probably not going to need it for this guy. Get a little spork unwound here. Come on. There you go. Our mackerel pat tail, we'll go and open that guy up and see what's going on with it. Oh yeah, look at that. It's fishy. A hint of uh, maybe like a high grade tuna salad. It's kind of the way that smells. It smells like it'll definitely be good. And we'll go ahead and let's see, immediately we do that very last. I don't want that soaking too long. We'll go ahead and undo these bars real quick. There's our dessert. And we'll line these bars up down the side. How about those apples? And first up, we have our pate or fruit pate bar. Fruit pate bar, look at that guy. These have always been good in the past. Take a smell of it. it. Smells a little bit like uh, jam or jelly. We'll do this. Stack them up on the side. Our little coffee bar. We'll crank it open. And this is the lighter. I don't know. I thought it was a lighter coffee bar. Some of these are really good. Some of them are really potent. I can't tell if this is the potent one or the lightly seasoned one. And then this was the peach bar. Well, this is a jelly bar, but it's more like a... Oh man, that smells awesome. It smells really good, guys. Really good. Um, 
real strong uh, peach smell to it. Our nougat bar, which is right here. Hopefully it's good. In these meals, this is the very first thing to expire. No doubt. Come on, buddy, get out of there. There we go. It has like some little rice paper stuck to the side of it. Getting a little, a little funky. A little painty smelling, not bad. I'm not sure if that's from the wrapper that does that on those or what that's from. There you go, I'll give you a little more of a side shot. And we have our chocolate bar. We're gonna go and crank this guy open real quick. Chocolate bar overall is very nice. It smells incredibly dark. That is good. Put that up there. Let me see. Hopefully I don't need the TP for this one. And we have our drink. We have our soup and our biscuits at last. We'll crank those open right now. And these chocolate biscuits are very nice. I think that's a cereal. Yeah, here's a chocolate right here. Little flecks of dark chocolate in them. Good one of each. And then we have a salted. The salted ones, uh, probably my least favorite out of the three. But they're all not bad. We'll put our jelly or jam over here so we we'll forget about it. Let me get some hot water going for all these hot drinks. And we'll be back. Okay, so we got six minutes real time for everything is ready. We're gonna go ahead and do this muesli. I think we'll just go ahead and mix it up in the bowl so you can see a little better. Rip that top off off screen here so don't dump it all over the place. See a little better what's going on. And it has these little disc of chocolate in it. It's like a flattened chocolate chip. We're going to mix this guy up accordingly to my likings, which is semi-dry, but not too dry. Should be about something like that. Make sure all the powder is mixed up and then We'll set that back off to the side, and that is going to basically puff up. Let's get this cold secondary main in here. This is the Mexican salad. Let's see if we can't do a little bit of that action. And let's try this guy a little bit. It seems like it's, I don't know, it seems like it should be heated up. It is cold and it is a bunch of meat. The Mexican salad is pretty much all meat. Look at that. That's a nice beef in there. Some corn. And some beans. I don't know, I think it needs to be heated up. You guys are gonna hate me for this. I'm gonna go flip it on the burner. I can hear the comments right now. You imbecile. How can you be so stupid? Stupid American. Why are you so stupid? How can you're so stupid, Nathan? <laughs> That's going to be the comments in the section. We'll just ignore those people and do it our own way. Um, okay, so moving on here. we got to do that drink. Let's go ahead and dip into this mackerel pate real quick. I'm trying to do some of this as we go. Not so much at one time here. We'll use a salted cracker. We're just going to go in here and take a little dip and it is very fine. You can see it has peppers and all kinds of stuff in it. it smells very, very fishy. Hmm. You know,
That's actually pretty good. That's better than tuna salad. The, even though it's fishy, the taste is a lot better. In my opinion. Next up, let's mix this drink up. And remember right on these, you only do half to that size glass. I think it made like 450 mil or 500 mil. And this glass is only like 200, 250. Okay, so we'll get this little mixy mixer with a longer spoon. Leave her deal in there. Let's go ahead and mix up some coffee next. We'll just leave them stuck together. I figured out on these, if you try to rip them apart, it'll rip into the other one very easily. So we'll cut the top of that one. This is a nice freeze dry coffee. You can see the big chunks in it. Smells very good. A very mild roast, really. Where'd the other spoon go? Right there it is. Give that a little mix. And we'll just set that off to the side. That's pretty hot. Yep. And then next up, I think we're going to do our hot chocolate. SRD brand, a hot chocolate. This is a semi-sweet, uh, kind of like a darker hot chocolate. Definitely unlike anything you have here in the States. Put a hint of coffee on the spoon still, but that's okay. That'll work fine. The water is hot, but it's not boiling. But it is what it is. Put that back there, let it kind of do its thing. And next up, we're going to do our tea. This is the Baronese mint tea. So if I can't rip the tea bag in half, we did not. Very strong, it's actually spearmint. Uh, very strong spearmint scent to it. All right, I'm gonna set that off to the side over here and kind of let that steep a little bit. And then let's go and get the soup mixed up and that should be all with the drinks and soup. Soup right here. And let's take a peek inside there. Can you even see it? Ooh, this smells a little strange. It has little noodles in it too. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see once we mix her up here. Almost made kind of a broth. Take a smell of it. And this smells like chicken noodle soup, not a overload of garlic like you think there would be. Nothing too funky in it. It smells pretty normal, actually. So we'll set that off to the side over here. You can still see it in the very corner. And yeah, I think we're about ready for those mains. Okay, we try to use a little hanger for our dish, but it's kind of risky to be honest with you. So we're going to go ahead and get this main out. Use a little spork here. We're going to shovel some of these shrimp out. There's quite a lot of shrimp. I'll give it a little stir to you, maybe. And it, uh, it cooked pretty decently. Nice and hot. Some kind of maybe egg noodles in there. Don't know. We'll leave a little bit of that, about half of it left in there. Kind of put that back out of the way. Let's see here. We need to do something different. Put that somewhere different, right there. And then our salad to eat cold, our Mexican salad, we just kind of heat up room temperature. We didn't really cook it too good. And we're gonna go ahead and shovel some of this out here. And that is pretty much solid meat on top. And the bottom it has uh, like some red beans and corn. Let's 
There you are. About half of that as well. Set that out of the way and we are ready to go. Let's start off while this is a little bit warm, trying this uh, Mexican salad. Get a shovel full or a mini spark full of beans and meat and corn. Well, I hate to tell you guys, it's a lot better, a little bit warm. Not hot, just the edge taken off of it. It's very close to a, like a chili con carne without the chili, chili flakes in it, basically, or chili powder in it. Very nice, very hearty. Very, very good. The Asian chicken is shrimp. Let's have a little shrimp here. Look at that little guy. It smells to be very well seasoned. Let's take a taste. Shrimp is actually a little bit on the dry side. Here's a big slab of chicken. I can't really pick apart whether that is mushrooms or eggplant. Looks like maybe mushrooms, maybe. Take a shovel of that. But no fish sauce, no oyster sauce, nothing super funky with it. It's overall pretty mild. Some of the noodles, almost like a egg noodle or a chow mein noodle. Not bad. Let me grab that. Okay, moving on. If we stop to answer the phone every time here, we'll never get anything done. So, uh, we're gonna try this drink. This was a orange drink, very lightly flavored. Kind of a, a vitamin taste to it. I'm sure it is a vitamin C type situation. Uh, let me see. Moving on here, guys. Let's jump into this measly. This measly looks like it's getting to be done. It is reconstituted very nicely. That's about the way I like it. Still a little bit on the firm side. Not a bunch of juice in the bottom. Let's take a good shovel full of that. Got tons of chocolate chunks in there. That's pretty nice. Really is. There's a lot more chocolate in this one I've seen in the past. Usually the ones in the past have little tiny pieces in it. Hmm. It's a very hearty oat flavor to it. Like a roasted oat. That's very nice. I like measly. A lot of guys don't like that. I'm a big fan of measly. Moving on to the Asian chicken noodle soup, essentially. A little bit of uh, that sage in there. I think it's sage. Take a sip here. Definitely a little bit of sage in there. And the noodles kind of dissipated. Look at that. To like a micro fine <laughs> texture. Let's take a bite and see. The noodles are so fine, they're almost non existent, almost like a flour taste to them. But I think that's one of the best soups I've had because it's mild. It's not. Uh, the fish soup we had in the past, holy, I love fish, and man, that would knock your socks off. That's actually very, very good. Uh, very mild and very edible, you might say. Uh, moving on. Let's go ahead and try some of this coffee here. It's looking pretty decent. Nice, mild, but rich roast. Fly, get out of here. 
the hell's going on around here? Anyway, coffee is a little bit on the strong side for my personal taste. I'm not a coffee person, though. Let's have a very deep roast taste to it. And, yeah, I don't know. It's not bad. Not a bad situation at all. All this stuff is very good so far. We're going to go ahead and shift this over just a little bit. Where's our knife at here? Our knife is right here. Let's try some of these bars real quick. And we'll bounce back to what we're doing. We have a cafe energy bar. Coffee energy bar. What am I doing? What am I talking about? It's kind of greasy, really. Look at that guy. That's really not bad. It almost has a peanut butter texture to it. Coffee taste is not real strong, but I just drank coffee, so it's kind of hard to determine that. Uh, our fruit pate bar, which is essentially a jelly bar. Very heavy on the sugar. It is essentially a solid uh, jam bar, you might say. Fly, I swear. I'm going to get the fly swatter and murder you. Then we're going to get demonetized to kill the fly. Um, the peach bar, peach energy bar. This is also similar to like a peanut butter texture. Look at that guy. Apricot smell is very strong in this one. Hmm. It smells very strong, but as far as taste goes, that doesn't have much taste. I don't know, kind of odd. The Fruit Nougat Bar. A little painty, maybe on its way out. Let's see. These guys are really gooey. A little flecks of fruit in there. Full of sugar. That is still good. It tastes perfectly fine. But. I would say probably another couple months that won't be fine. Let's go ahead and slide everything back in. We're gonna finish this meal up. I'll go ahead and do a little little tea here. It's been steeping for a little bit. Some honey would be nice to go with this. Nice bold spearmint flavor. I like spearmint tea. A lot of people aren't big on the mint. But uh, I don't mind it. Very nice cup of tea. Now let me see here. I think we're moving on to the dessert portion of this operation. We have our hot chocolate here. It is starting to cool down a little bit. Man, the European hot chocolate. Just that nice, dark chocolate, semi-sweet, perfect. Not overly sugared compared to stuff you buy here. Definitely not your average Swiss Miss or anything like that. Let's go ahead and bust this chocolate bar open. This meal does have a lot of sweet stuff in it, that's for sure. Chocolate bar. A little bit of discoloration on the outside, which is normal. A little flex of... I'm not sure what that is in the middle. Let's see. I got a crunchy rice in the middle of that. It's not half bad. The vanilla dessert, the vanilla cream.
essentially a vanilla pudding. Where's my little baby spork at? The baby spork in here, give her a little frothing up here. Probably doesn't look very appetizing on camera. It's like a smell of it. it. Smells like vanilla pudding. Take a taste. That's incredibly silky smooth. Very nice. The only thing that scares me about pudding and these milky desserts, if you get a expired ration, usually they don't fare too good. But this one is not expired. And my friends, that is very nice. I think last up, we're going to tap into this plum jam and try some more chocolate cookies here. A little bit on the hard side. It's just kind of par for the course for MRE crackers or biscuits. And we have has some nougat bar on our knife, but it should work fine. Get make a little slot there. A nice dark jam. It smells good. It smells very sugary. On our dark chocolate cracker, it should be interesting. Let's go and take a bite and see. Maybe we'll go again on our cereal cracker. Look at that guy. Just as good. You can taste a, a little clearer, the taste of the jam a little clearer on that cereal cracker than the chocolate kind of throws it off. This meal has been really good. This is the only thing I can say I don't really care for, but that's more of a nutrition situation than it is it's supposed to taste good. Overall, Art and Nina for an MRE.com, I give this a 9 out of 10. This is a very good meal. And I guess we're done, guys. That's pretty much it. Um, I think other than that, do it like that. That's all for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for the channel support. Like always, have a good day.